Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then welcome. As you can see from the title of this video, I'm gonna be sharing my top tips and pieces of advice for building a capsule wardrobe. This is probably my most frequently asked question is, how do I build a capsule wardrobe? And to be honest, it's been something that I've been working on for a long time now. Even last year, I was an absolute nightmare when it came to getting ready it would take me between one and two hours just to find an outfit to wear my clothes would literally be everywhere i was always late for like any event i needed to go to and i'd always struggle finding something to wear despite having a wardrobe full of clothes i always thought i don't have anything to wear which i realized was such an issue for someone who buys new clothes as much as I do. I want to share with you guys a few of the things that I implemented in order to build myself a capsule wardrobe full of staple pieces so that I no longer have the issue of having nothing to wear. I also just want to say I usually like coming on YouTube looking a little bit more presentable but I am currently getting ready for this weekend. I've got my hair mask in so I'm filming this on a Friday. I want to film this before I go away for the weekend so that hopefully I can get this up tomorrow which will be saturday morning i really wanted to get this video out as soon as possible before you guys are wasting money or like throwing money at a new summer wardrobe let's get straight into it the first tip when it comes to buying something new or deciding whether to get rid of a piece that you already have always ask yourself what is the purpose like what is the reason that i have this item what is the purpose that this item fulfills the reason for asking this question is figuring out do i really need this item for example i love shopping for evening like dresses anything for going out and i'm not gonna lie i rarely go out so realistically i don't actually need that many kind of like evening outfits but in particular i have such a thing for long black dresses and when i find myself looking at these kind of dresses i always ask myself like what is the purpose do i have something else that can fulfill this purpose and straight away that gives me the answer that i need like i don't need to buy this and in the back of my mind if this is the nicest dress that i've ever seen and i decide that i have to have it that's fine but then i need to either get rid of or donate or sell my other black dresses. Sometimes the thought of doing all that work just puts me off and I'm like, you know what, I actually don't really need it. I just find going through this motion definitely makes me consider whether I actually need this piece or not. And number two, another question for you. When you come to buy a new piece, ask yourself, will I wear this this time next year? I can guarantee you with this question, nine times out of ten the answer will be no a good example of this for me was the space kind of metallic trend that was in a few months ago that was the first trend that genuinely made me think like this is such a waste of money i can guarantee that even if i did buy into it i wouldn't be wearing it next month let alone next year and this is no judgment if you did like that trend each to their own it just made me realize how quickly the trends are coming around if you buy into them you will be spending an absolute fortune each year and it just helps to ask a few questions before you actually buy into the trends and to realize if you actually do like the pieces or if you're just being influenced one really good piece of advice that i would say here is use pinterest pinterest is so good for finding out the style that you actually like you can create a board full of inspiration and then you can add pins if you change your mind you can remove the pins and if i'm being honest it is shocking how much i change my mind on pieces that i think i like i am constantly adding and removing pins that i saved last week and i'm thinking I really don't like that, like that's ugly as hell, I would never wear that and that is literally something that I saved last week. So I always think, thank God I didn't buy into that or spend my money on that because I feel like maybe it's just me, I change my mind so much on the style that I like. I feel like physically being able to visualise all of the pins that you've saved and kind of see what style they have in common just really helped me to figure out what my genuine style was. And this kind of leads me on to tip number three, which is never buy anything straight away. Never buy anything in the heat of the moment. And this one saved me so much money i have purchases last year from zara where i got home i removed the tags and the next day realized that i didn't actually like what i've bought and i can't speak for everyone on that that may just be me being incredibly indecisive but nothing annoys me more than buying something and then changing my mind and realizing that i didn't actually like it or i regret spending that amount of money on it so now i always say whether i see something in person or i see something online obviously it's so easy to buy things 
these days when you have next day delivery and free returns. Now, if I see something that I like, I generally go away and I'd say I leave it about a week. And if I still want that item after a week, I will go back and get it. Obviously, this depends on the price. For more expensive things, I would definitely wait longer. Number four, which kind of goes back to what I was saying before, is be inspired but never copy. As I was saying before, with things like Instagram and Pinterest, it's so easy to come across so many different styles, so many different outfit inspiration it can be so overwhelming but also it can kind of prevent you from finding your genuine style and i would say in order to build a staple capsule wardrobe the most important thing is to be able to understand your own style otherwise your wardrobe is going to be filled with random pieces from random inspiration also when you come across outfit inspiration online and you want to copy the outfit exact i think it's so important to highlight that there are so many factors that you don't take into consideration when influencing like how this outfit will look on you. Things like body shape, body proportion, the person's height, the person's skin tone, the person's skin colour, the person's hair colour, they all have an impact on how the outfit looks and I think it can be quite dangerous to copy an outfit exact and expect it to look the exact same on you. Which is why I always say, take inspiration from the outfit, add pieces that you like, let your creativity flow, and I can guarantee you, you will like the outfit more than the one that you tried to copy. Lastly, my final tip for building a capsule wardrobe and probably the one that has saved me the most money. I am gonna do a separate video on this one because I think it deserves quite a bit of time like to break it down, work out what you spend most of your time doing, and then from that, you can work out what kind of pieces that you need in your wardrobe. So what I was saying before about my obsession with shopping for long black dresses makes no sense. Ask me when the last time was that I went out on an evening. I rarely go out. I spend most of my time either at home, I work from home, or the gym. So obviously it makes so much more sense to have lots of loungewear, lots of gym wear. I would definitely say that I don't enjoy shopping for loungewear and gym wear as much as like evening attire. But obviously, like I said, it makes so much more sense for me to have like 80% of my wardrobe that kind of close because that is what I spend most of my time doing. I would say list all of the things that you spend your time doing and rank them in order of frequency. So for me, it would be loungewear, gym wear, I'd say third, maybe like some cute daytime outfits for things like brunch. Fourth would be more daytime dressy outfits, so going shopping. And then fifth would be evening attire. And honestly, once you structure your wardrobe like that, you will never have another outfit related meltdown again. I really hope that has been somewhat helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments if you tried to implement any of these. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one.